Welcome back to Hilal Live. Now, Steve Compella this weekend left Mamalodi Sundowns to become head coach of Swallows FC. Compella departed from the DSTV Premiership title holders after joining Sundowns in 2020 as a senior coach to work alongside joint head coaches Mankoba Ngriti and Rulani Mukwena. Now, joining us is the chairman of Swallows FC, David Mukhashwa. Mr. Mukhashwa, good evening and thank you so much for joining us. Thank you very much. Uh, pleasure to be on your show and good evening to your listeners. Okay, Mr. Mukashwa. Yeah, Mr. Mukashwa, let's. Uh, it's an absolute pleasure to have you here. Mr. Mukashwa, let's talk about uh, the, the appointment of Steve Compella. I mean, this is a coach well traveled. I mean, he definitely will help, you know, the club going forward. Am I right in saying that? Correct. You'll help the club going forward. His experience uh, will come in handy for the club because our plan is to take the club back where it belongs to the top. Uh, Mr. Kasha, I, I want to talk about his 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 tasks. Obviously, uh, the contract that he's given, I mean, it allows him to obviously explore, you know, the possibilities of trying different projects within there. But when you look at his first season, what would you say is his immediate goal? And of course, looking ahead to the rest of his project. He's got a bit of pressure. I mean, he's not starting off easy because the club finished top eight. So we need to um, try and compete in that competition. And we need to finish the season in the top eight going up. So we can't finish below top eight because we finished top eight with a coach that is uh, less qualified than Coach Steve. So we expect him to finish in a higher position than where we finished the season. Uh, Mr. Mukashwa, I want to talk about uh, transfers. Uh, so how much of a say would uh, Steve have in terms of transfers? Because we do know the DSTV Premiership, we know its, uh, its competitiveness. So how is he in terms of the leeway given to him for transfers? You know, nice thing is when we started, you said uh, Coach Steve is well-traveled. He is well-traveled. He's got contacts all over the world and the continent. He's already identified about four players that were coming from Cameroon. So we're going to get those players to come in and uh, do assessments to the club. Once the coach, the coach is happy, then the players will sign. So the planning is going ahead. He's identified a few players, but we also obviously have a target of 28. So we don't want to exceed um, 28 as the number of players that will be at the club. Uh, Mr. Mukashwa, obviously Musa and Yatama is going to be one of his assistants. I mean, Musa will be learning a lot, isn't he, being the assistant? Definitely. It's very important for Coach Musa to, to learn from Coach Steve. It's not only him, he's got another assistant uh, in the Teko Mutoto. So there are two assistants for Coach Steve. They're both um, carrying KFC licenses. So it's important that they learn from Coach Steve and further their studies. We also want them to, to, you know, to have a KFA license, uh, you know, and uh, also get higher qualifications. So it's very important that they, they are surrounded by people who are quite highly qualified. We are still going to get analysts and people that can help them uh, become better individuals. Uh, Mr. Khashoggi, we, when we talk of Swallows, it has to be there at the top. I mean, you've mentioned it, obviously. And as a chairman of, of the football club, you want to see the club, of course, reaching the heights as it was, you know, back in those heydays. So, in, in order for Steve to succeed, I mean, there has to be a style of play, isn't there, for that to happen? And, of course, everyone knows Swallows. It's not just the Cassie style of play, but there needs to be a sense of substance worth it, and that's results-driven. No, definitely. I mean, the coach Steve has a full mandate to do whatever he wants with the club. He can get the players he wants. He can identify players and the style of play that the, the club must uh, play. Because as you said, I mean, nice thing is when coach Steve came, he's the one that says in the top four, he had Pirates, he had Chiefs, he had Sundowns, he had Solos. So he knows where Solos should be without anyone telling him. And I'm glad that he knows that. So we're just expecting him to take it back there. It won't be an easy task, but I, I have full confidence that he will take it back there. Uh, when we talk of uh, Swallows, we talk of a packed uh, Dobsonville Stadium. Would, would somebody like Steve Compella bring back, uh, even if it's about 80% capacity, to the Dobsonville Stadium? Because uh, uh, Coach Steve is a, is a household name in South African football. So are you expecting him and his, just his aura to bring the fans to watch Swallows FC back at Dobsonville Stadium? I mean, if you look at the announcement that the club made on mm. Sunday, social media was a buzz. I mean, we actually shut down the internet on Sunday. I believe that energy must translate into into a, a bums in seat at the stadium. I believe his aura, as you say, is is very positive. So there will be people at the stadium. There will be bums and seats. We'll start seeing uh, Dobsonville getting packed again, which is what happened before. So I don't see why we can't do it now. Um, one final question uh, before I let you go, Mr. Mukhashwa. The yeah. uh, I, I, We all know about uh, Coach Steve and his philosophy lessons, and this is a lighter note question. So I think the players <laughs> and yourself also are probably getting ready for a little bit of a philosophy lesson from him. Yeah, yeah. 
<laughs> no, 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 I've learned a lot. I mean, I was talking to another journalist yesterday. He said I'm starting to talk like Coach Steve now, you know, because they, answered, they asked me a question and I responded like Coach Steve. So I think that's one of the things that people will be looking uh, forward to. Uh, Post-match interviews will never be the same again. Yes. That's my, like, that much I can tell you. No, definitely. Uh, David Mughashwa, we'd like to say th thank you so much for joining us here on Hilal Live and all the best for the season coming up. One thing that I can give you is a bit of a scoop is that uh, you know that club is currently playing a Solos FC. Yes. So we are putting in an application uh, to the PSL to go back to Morocco Solos this week. So we're expecting that to come to be done by Friday. Okay, lovely. I mean, that, that that's a nice one. And I mean, everyone knows uh, 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 Swallows the brand as Morocco Swallows. So, I mean, it'll be great to have it back as Morocco Swallows, especially for those fans who have been there for more than three, four, even five decades. No, 100%. So we are hoping that by end of the week, uh, we can make an announcement that we are now Morocco Swallows. Okay, no, thank you so much. Looking forward to that. Uh, just the name Morocco Swallows, I think, will really bring back, you know, that aura, the extra aura that Morocco uh, that Swallows, the name itself, used to have. Mr. Mukhoshwa, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you very much, and thank you to your viewers. Thank you. That's uh, David Mukhoshwa. He's the Swallows FC chairman. You heard it. There may even be... Morocco Swallows, of course, they put in their application to the Premier Soccer League and we will see, of course, what happens. And we're hoping that it does return back to Morocco Swallows, even if you are a neutral fan, because that is the original name, the original name of such a historic and iconic football club here in South Africa. And we hope that, uh, you know, other iconic names, and I'm, I'm specifically talking of Bloemfontein Celtic, they can be a way for Bloemfontein Celtic also to find its way back into uh, the local football scene because we saw last year when Marumo Gaelans played a, 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 a DSTV Premiership match, just the fans that came into the stadium at, uh, at the Free State Stadium, it was something else. That is the passion that we want to see in South African football. After the break, I'll have your latest in news. Do stay tuned.